good morning. God, I look like hell. <laughs> I figured I would just, I got to get ready. I got an appointment today. I got a little extra time. Um, I used that, well, you can't tell my hair is wet. I used that stuff. You keep seeing this stuff on Instagram. It is um, Coco, oh my God, I can't remember the name of it. Coco something. I don't know. It's the stuff you put on your hair and they show everybody in these like drastic things. I've used it twice now and it does help, you know, kind of get the, sh the frizzy ends off. But I mean, I figured let's try to do some lower cost stuff. So I grabbed a, um, I grabbed a primer that I haven't used in a while and it's a lower, lower cost option. My, I didn't rub my face cream in it. Well, um, I've been using that Bioderma. You get it off of Beautylish. And I know you think Beautylish and skincare is going to be really expensive, but it's not. I got, I, I think I got like four or five products of theirs and it was under 50 bucks. And I don't know about you. I'm very old school when it comes to, um, Moisturizers. I like the real thick. I like the like cold cream, the night creams, you know, from the 80s, <laughs> the 70s and 80s. This is a Fabulous Face Face Primer from Ulta, and it's very similar. It's a little bit thinner, but it's very similar. I use a ton of this, yes, because my skin is just so, it doesn't like to hold foundation in these areas that are real dehydrated. So if I put a nice coat of a silicone kind of primer it fills in all those pores but also it just really smooths my skin out and it gives it a nice layer that doesn't kind of you know just disintegrate so that is what I do with that and I do rub it in fairly well but I use that all over some people don't like silicone type primers. I do. My skin does very well with them. If you have more um, acne prone or oily skin, you may not want to use them. They're not not really that great for that. I don't. I don't personally think. But you know, you can use anything. You know, something that might work wonders for me might be horrible for you, and vice versa. I can't find anything. I clean my brushes, and then I can't find. <laughs> <laughs> I've been really liking these um, It Cosmetics brushes. I, I like a dense, I mean dense um, foundation brush. I'm not really a sponge person. I've been more of kind of, you know, using the sponge around the, uh, let me put this in my hair, just kind of tack it back in a little sloppy bun it makes my hair really curly when I do that if I let it dry like that so anyway um this just really helps my skin look a lot smoother this is the CO CYO uh, foundation if you haven't tried this give it a try it is very very inexpensive I think I paid seven dollars for that Where's the bottle? And it's a, it's, it's a one ounce, just like all the other ones. And I like theirs. If you have more of a cool tone skin, their foundations tend to run pretty cool. And I like it because see, you get decent coverage. You can build this up. I mean, you could build this up to a high medium, almost. I want, you could probably build it up to a full coverage on your skin. I can build it up to mine on a high medium. I like it because see it tones that all that red right down and I don't have to worry about it really like coming off because it stays on fairly well. I go ahead and well, I'm just doing my daily like I call this like cheap makeup my daily makeup. I'm going to have a massage today which half of this is going to get wiped off on the sides of my face but I do build it up right here and right here that's about it. Now, I will kind of stipple that on right there and let that sit for a minute as I kind of blend it everywhere else. This brush is just really great for that kind of airbrush kind of look. 
if you want something that's going to have coverage and um, still look like livable, you know, this is a great brush to work with. A lot of brushes will just smear the foundation. This actually will blend it in for you. And if you have fine lines like I do, right through here, mine are really bad. And this just gets right in there. I always push out with my tongue just to kind of straighten them out. You always want to make sure to get the foundation very even down into your fine lines. Don't try to cover them, just try to work with them. If you try to work against them, you're gonna make them stick out even more. Anyway, um, some things I've been wanting to talk about while we're just sitting here chit-chatting. You know, there are so many YouTubers out. When I first started doing YouTube, um, I've deleted probably the <laughs> first third of my channel. Many of you guys know, will notice my creator date is way off from my first video date. And that is because one, I waited a while before I really started getting into doing this. And number two is that I, just grabbing a little bit here and just kind of helping that out a little bit. It's just not, there we go. It's just not sticking there. But I started out doing um, e-cigarette videos and I used to do what's called cloud competitions where it was whoever can blow the biggest vape cloud. They were a lot of fun, goofy, but fun. And I started those, God, I started those back in 2013, 2012. It was a long time ago that I had started messing around on YouTube and I really wish I would have got more serious about it because I was doing videos before a lot of these people that are huge right now and I probably would have had my following a lot bigger but you know if you want to do YouTube to make money don't you're not gonna make any money you're gonna go broke trying to make a dollar um, I have now started to I still monetize my videos and the reason being is because if you don't monetize them at all they will like not suggest you because if they're not going to make money off you they don't give a shit you can just fade off into the clear bye bye see ya so i do the absolute minimum now many of you guys had said on one video i did that i had posted a lot of um oh my god the ads i did that as kind of a to see what the difference would be and it was between the bare minimum and over flooding you guys with ads. This is a YSL powder and this is a new brush I got. This is um, God, this is It Cosmetics Love, Love Beauty Fully. And it is the all over powder brush number 211. And it is, I mean, whoop, it's huge. So anyway, so I did that and I think I mentioned this before. I did that just to kind of do an experiment. Then I did two videos and I didn't even monetize them. And I noticed nobody watched them. And I was like, okay. Pop the monetization on there, you guys were. You guys started watching it within minutes. I had like 10 views. And it had been up. It had been up for about a day and a half. So what I'm doing now is the absolute bare minimum. Let me know what kind of ads you guys are getting. I have red, so I don't pay for, I, I pay the monthly thing because I'm not watching ads. Too powdery, but that's what I've been doing. I'm gonna go back to the, you know, I can't decide what I like better if I like the holidays or the, the California one. They're very similar. Let me see if I can show you guys these together. They're very similar. They're just different size pans, but they're very, I mean, see that, that looks almost the same color. For some reason, the Holidays one seems to not blend out as well. I don't know if that was the brush I was using or what it may be, but I like going between these three colors here. I do a very different 
kind of bronze contoury kind of thing. You see how that just adds a kind of a blush tone to it even? Into this one and into this one. This is my Lean Goss brush. If you guys haven't been watching. I have been upgrading a lot of my brushes here. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about something. What do you guys think about me doing a giveaway with some brushes? Now, let me, let's back up because I want to be very, very clear because I don't want any drama with this. These are going to be used brushes. These are brushes that I've used, that are gently used, that are all going to be sterilized. Um, these are to help you guys out more than more than anything. I'm not going to do it like throw them all in one giveaway and do that. I'm not doing that. What I want to do is um, go through and pick X amount of people to help you guys out. Help you guys out in what I'm saying is um, to set up a little, you know, a few makeup brush sets to give you guys as just a little gift to me, maybe throw a few makeup items in it, just set up a few little sets, kind of a giveaway, kind of just give back. I, I want to give back. How about that? Um, I saw a lot of stuff on Poshmark, but I thought about instead of putting these on Poshmark and, you know, selling them, why don't I give back to the people that give to me, you guys? And I thank you guys all for that because I would be absolutely nothing without you guys. And I absolutely love you guys. My ex my diehards, my one-timers, all you guys. You guys are all very special. And I absolutely appreciate each and every one of you. <sighs> I'm out of breath. <sighs> I'm not doing nothing crazy. I did this really light makeup look yesterday and it came out really cute and it was like a it's kind of a mock cut crease that I've done before where I've you done my done the transition laid a little color in the crease darkened it up a little bit and then kind of cut it with a liquid eyeshadow I'm gonna try that again today let me know what you guys think about that um, I really really enjoy doing this and um you know, I always wonder what if if something happened tomorrow and YouTube stopped, what would I do? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I probably would find a, another means to to do this on because I really really enjoy this. I, I love you know communicating with you guys, or even you know finding a way to do this some other you know some other means. I do do some. Um, some freelance makeup which I've got some stuff coming up um one of the girls that I'm doing her makeup for I think she's gonna have me do I know she, I'm doing her wedding I don't know if I'm gonna do before she said she was talking about maybe having me do the um her bachelorette party for everybody and I told her I you know if you want to do that I'll work out a like package type thing that we do got an itch so we'll see and I've kind of mentioned to her I'd like to film it she's watched my channel she knows what you know she knows what I do and she's she said she'd think about it let her talk to her girlfriends and see what they want to do and we'll go from there this is the it's my pleasure and I'm going into kittenfish I love this color I just like to kind of barely take this and I mean barely barely touch that brush. My hair's always in my way. Just barely take that and just kind of do a light transition kind of with it. Now this is a very, very simple, just, I mean, this is not a whole lot of eyeshadow. This is something y'all could do if you just want to throw something on and, you know, throw something on and go. That was my Kylie 15 brush, I think. This is my um, Wayne Goss number 17. I'm going to grab this right here. This is fan fiction. Grab that. I'm just going to use that right in that crease right there. Like that. Like 
Now I had a little too much on the brush, that's why you saw me take it and put it to the other side. I kind of put it a little too low too. I wanted it right there, there we go. Now I am going to go back with the other brush. I'm kind of blend this out a little better. I like this brush because I can really lay down the color right where I want it with that little tip. Like that right where I want it and then I like to go back with the brush that I used on top no more product on it and really blend that in see and that just helps kind of give that a little bit of a darker crease in there just to kind of help my eye separate from the from the crazy hood that I have. I really dislike the fact that I have hooded eyes. If you guys have hooded eyes, you'll know why. It is not fun. I'm taking a little bit of kitten fish back over and just quickly just blending that over. It's not a whole lot to what I'm doing today. Like I said, I'm just kind of brushing that on. Now, what did I, how did I do that? Where's that little brush? I got a couple of new brushes and I'm really enjoying them. Where is it? Where are you? Here we go. No, that's one of them. Where's the other? I got uh, Royal and Lane Nickel, a couple of their brushes. This is one here. I love their handles. Their handles are so nice. They're like artist brushes. This is the BM8, uh, BOM485, and I'm going into this dark purple color, and I'm going to bring that up underneath my eye really close to that lash line and into the lash line. Now if you are not comfortable with putting powders in your waterline, you may not want to do this. But I have been really enjoying this. I got it in my eye. Lovely. You got to be careful with purples because some purples are not eye safe. I know the um, most of the James Charles palette is not, and most of the um, most Morphe palettes aren't. Most actually, quite a few. It seems like that there's a decent purple in it. It's not eye safe for some reason, but this one didn't say that it was not. At least that I saw. <sighs> I'm just not in a huge talky talky mood today for some reason. I usually talk you guys ear off. I've just, I've not felt good lately and I've been really kind of depressed and down about it. I, I don't like not feeling good. I really don't. I'm going to go up into this do or no color and we'll bring that right here on the inside. I'm just bringing that from the lash line to about a third of the way, to about a third of the way in, right there, just to kind of boost that color right there. Because uh, you don't want to go too dark around the entire eye because that can really close your eye up. So that's why I like to go with something a little lighter right there. And I'm going to go into Earth Shine, this one. That's the lighter, lighter one, and I'm going to bring that right here on the inner corner, like the inner, inner corner right there, just to give a little bit of a glow right there. Kind of just went around the eye from dark, darkest purple to a lighter purple, all in the uh, shimmers. I really like how that looks. And I like to bring that just on the tiny bit of the inner corner right there. Just to kind of bring that up. And that's that. Now, I did this a little different than I did yesterday. Yesterday I had... Um, use this. This is so pretty. Raw Beauty Christy used this. This is Wet n Wild and this is called Fairy Tale Ending and this is their um, 
their cat suit liquid cat suit eye uh, shimmer liquid eyeshadows and this is so pretty this is a really light color if you sheer it out and what I like to do is take it and just right across that lid like that and flip the brush over and do the same thing on this side And that is pretty much all I did yesterday. I did a little darker. I kind of darkened the crease up a little. And I think I'm going to do that, actually. I need a little. I'm going to put a little darker. Yep. Let me just grab. The, let me grab this little guy. This is that Morphe brush that's absolutely on its last leg, falling apart, that I, but I love. And I'm going to grab this color down here. What is this thing? Uh, sleeper. And... I'm going to use that just to kind of darken that outer corner. I'm really using this more to change the tone than darken it. See how that just changed that tone a little bit more to a purple than from a pink. It was just looking way too pink on top of me. There we go. <clears throat> Same thing over here. I don't know why I this brush is like is it's probably got 20 hairs left in it but it hits just the right areas for me when I do this outer corner right here you see it's like just it's almost like a duo um <clears throat> duo fiber brush it's almost because it's got longer ones and then it's gets thicker but it's it's kind of beat Beat to death to my shape eye. There we go. That is better. I was just looking way too pink. I, I just wasn't feeling so much pink today. And I grabbed that Kylie um, number 15 brush and just go over that just to make sure it's nice and soft. And that's it. It's just a real blended off kind of fluffy look there I think <clears throat> I'm gonna take this here um, and I grab I need a nice little flat brush for this which one is this this is the crown 510 and I'm gonna grab berries and cream out of my ice cream palette. That's that real light pinky color. I'm gonna use that to come up here on the brow bone just to kind of highlight that brow bone a little bit. Cause I feel like I kind of lost that over here a little. Right in here is where I really wanna lighten that. I feel like I've gotten a little too dark in here. And that's it. <clears throat> and that's it guys. I'm gonna throw some mascara on um, and be done with it. Should I throw some? I kind of want to put a little extra on my waterline. I got one little spot of fallout in this corner, and I'm trying to get that, but it just won't. There it goes. It's just right in that little corner. I kind of want to put something in the waterline just to kind of make sure that it stays in. I think I'm going to grab, where is, I'm going to grab this color here. This is, mm, uh, what is Amethyst from um, Lancome. I'm going to grab that and just use that to really thick down that color. There, much better. I'm going to throw some mascara on and pretty much done. I'm just going to throw some lip, a little bit of gloss on my lips today. I'm just going to do, actually, you know what? We'll throw this on. This is that Ofra. What is this? Utopia. This is like, this is a discontinued color. I'm sorry. It came in a pack and it is my favorite lip color. By far. I 
I like it because I can really sheer it out or I can do it really heavy. You can really go heavy on that and get a real heavy gloss out of it. But that's all I'm doing today. I'm gonna throw a little bit of setting spray on, which if I could find, I'm gonna use this today. I'm gonna use the um, Mark Brzenko. I can't even say this today. This is the aloe, cucumber, and green tea. I like that because it's more of a skincare type thing and I've been having a lot of dehydration right through here and that really really helps it because it just really puts a lot of water to the the top of the skin that's it guys thank you guys so much for watching actually you know what I'm not gonna wear any mascara today because I'm going to have a massage and I'll have it down here anyway thank you guys for watching I'll see you later bye